This video is using Tone Tip. Get free content wherever you get your apps. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I'd like to introduce myself just in case someone doesn't know who I am. I'm Paula Free, Executive Director and Founder of Power On With Limbless. And this was our fourth annual conference. And I'd like to introduce Lotta Coral and Marty Gator, the G-Man. And um, we're just so happy to be here today and share with some of our experiences at our conference. So we'll let Lotta tell us what she experienced there. So Lotta, go ahead. Thanks, Paula, and thanks so much for inviting me. I had a blast. I had no idea what the conference was about, except I knew it would be pretty darn inspirational, which it was. The speakers were top-notch. I learned so many great stories from people who experienced, either experienced limb loss, or I got to talk to people who were born that way and what their life was like. So I feel like what I got out of it was just a conference where I get to hear people talk from the stage, which was nice, but I got to hear stories. Like really connect with these people one-on-one, -on -one, hear what they're about, hear their struggles, hear their wins, how they're going through life, and how some of them are coping with kind of a newer issue that they're, that they're dealing with. And I thought that was just absolutely incredible. Um, so that was, that was kind of my favorite thing. I got to meet a lot of uh, other vendors that you had there. So about networking, I got to watch people do some bow yoga and shoot arrows. And I was totally blown away by the fella who got to play the drums. And I was playing the drums and he even had a full arm. It was amazing and he was so into it. And then I got to talk to him a little about it. Uh, about it and he's like, going to Nashville one of these days. I'm like, I know you are, kid. Like, this is amazing. But we just we just had a great time and I'm super excited that I got to provide safe air for everybody. Tell us a little bit about your air scrubbers. What that means. What the heck is an air scrubber? That was my question. Like, how do you scrub air? Do you get like a brush and just start scrubbing air? No. That's what I do. That's it. I mean, you just... <laughs> They're all day. Stop breathing. Right. Okay. <laughs> no, an air scrubber, it's, it's a cool device. It originally, originally back in the day, was developed for the NASA space station because the astronauts apparently can't just roll down the window and let some fresh air in, so they had to clean the air pretty well. So that's where the tech comes from originally, and then it ended up uh, quite a bit in hospital and operating room settings because not only does it clean air but it also sanitizes surfaces and that's why i thought this was just the coolest tech in the world because my partner runs a martial arts studio in the middle of the pandemic after we were able to open i'm like how are we going to do this safely right we got kids rolling around spreading germs so we installed a bunch of these air scrubbers and overnight things were super sanitized squeaky clean by morning the, it was 24 seven protection and it, it's nothing like a filter. It's a completely different technology because it spits out oxidizers and they go touch everything and they scrub everything. So how do you scrub everything without scrubbing it? Well, oxidizers, they fill the space for you and they go to the source of the issue. And I just love that things like Staph and MRSA will actually be sanitized in about 24 hours. But on the air side, oh my gosh, I was looking at the lab test for this technology one minute for SARS-based viruses, like the one that causes COVID-19. One minute deactivated in the air all around us. And with just a little bit of personal distancing, the chances of us getting sick from each other go down just hugely, 60 to 80 percent per uh, test that they've done in the field. So this is what I do. I make sure that not only do we get out through this post-COVID period gently as we gather, but this, this technology is just so incredible. Mold is extremely happy with the amount of people that did show up and bless all of our vendors and all of our sponsors. It was really, really amazing. Every year, being this is number four, get my fingers in there, number four, we grow every year and we meet. And so she has a great product called the Active Pure Air Scrubbers, but she was just a, a nice, wonderful, welcoming person at the conference. So 
I want to reach out and just big hug Flada and that, you know you're amazing and um, oh, thank you well, so and, thank we, you, and thank you so much for being at our event you know this is what it's all about and more people in who are perhaps on the fence and that's what it's all about well, I want to say something, so I remember a lot of you and I were talking the day of the conference, we were talking about, you know, how do we get more people here? So you, like Paula said, and this is something if you don't know a lot, I tell her she's the coolest nerd on the planet, hippest nerd I've ever known, but it's true. She's very genuine with what she does. And it's yeah. like the time that Paula was talking about, talking with that gentleman from Puerto Rico, he's afraid of heights. He's an amputee, only had one leg. He, had, he didn't want to, he, this dude climbed to the top of the rock wall after spending all this time being challenged by Lana, which I thought was amazing. And her whole point was, how do we get more business involved? How do we do this? How do we do that? I said, I think it's just us talking more about it. Like, this is just where people need to be. So I think you being there and you having excitement about it and having genuine excitement about it helps a lot. So you know, I just want to thank you for being involved with it. No, absolutely. And there's crossover. I mean, this is, this is what I see. I always pick out events where there's we're at archery at our event too. And I think there's a way to collaborate and partner. And our programs also have a good amount of special needs folks that work with us. Yeah. And there's again, that overlap and that crossover. And it's all about creating that accessibility, creating that community and, and getting businesses involved with some of these nonprofits that oh. we have. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day, Marty and Lada. Absolutely. And we appreciate everything, and I hope you will come to next year's because we're already starting to plan that. I know as well as you are planning your conference already, also, because we talked. Yep. We already have the dates. I, I wanted to make sure mine didn't fall on the same date as hers because I love hanging out and working together, and I'll help at yours, and you can help at mine, and it's Absolutely. all good, right? May 5th and 6th is our event. Well, we'll be in April, but we don't know when yet. I'm looking into it. Perfect. Thank you, everyone. Teamwork.